Welcome to SkillHeader.com with the first solution for using the world's best MySQL server as a backend of MS Access Database. In this video, you will learn how to connect to MySQL server using localhost. Why do we need to connect the MS SQL server or MySQL server as the backend with the Access Database? The simple answer is high performance, industry standard, scalability and demand, reliable connectivity, data security, and higher efficiency. You can visit skillheader.com to get the source code explained in the videos from skillheader.com and read the topics. Please access the playlist related to the MS Access Advanced Topics. Please subscribe to the channel for our motivation, like, comment, and share the video. You can click on the i button above or the link in the description for the playlist related to others methods of using the access database with the backend other than MySQL server. First of all, let's download the XAMPP server. MySQL Server and phpMyAdmin are integrated with this open source package. XAMPP is mostly used in web development to set up a complete web server which we will use in upcoming projects. All download links are available in the description. After downloading start installing. As you can see, MySQL Server and phpMyAdmin are available in the list. We will keep all default options selected and continue. We are good with the default folder location in C drive. This is the first interface of XAMPP server where Apache server and MySQL server should start to work with the database and configure MySQL server with the web interface using phpMyAdmin. Testing the localhost web interface has successfully launched the dashboard. Localhost phpMyAdmin will launch the web interface of the MySQL server to create databases and tables. Let's create a database and table with four columns.
adding some data to the table. Next, we need to download the MySQL ODBC connector file and install it to interact with the tables of the MySQL server with the Access database. After a simple method of installation, let's find ODBC data source from a Windows search. From the ODBC data source window click on Add and select MySQL ODBC. In this configuration window, the data source name can be any name and TCP IP server is as localhost. The default user will be as root. If the connection is fine the list of databases should appear here. As you can see the connection is successful. Now, let's create a new access database. Under the external data menu select ODBC database and select the connection which we have already created. As you can see the table has been connected and the data is available in it. Now tables can be created and linked through the same process. We will learn in the next video how to integrate MySQL server tables with multiple computers and users on the network. That is a demanding video so, stay tuned, and subscribe to the channel to get the update notification of the video. Like and share to support us in making more deep information videos. See you in the next video.